day learners, it's me again. I'm teacher Jean Margaret Felix, your learning buddies and technology and livelihood education Needlecraft 9. So today, we're going to discuss another exciting lessons that you may apply and use it in your daily living. Before we start, don't forget to have with you your module, notebook, and ball pen. You can also use our chat box for you to answer our activity. Always remember, it is more fun in learning T-L-E. We are now in our third quarter week 6 and our learning competency is you're going to produce knitted articles with packaging. And for our learning objectives for this lesson, learners should be able to first Perform basic stitches in knitting like joining the yarn and binding off. Second, you're going to demonstrate the proper use of materials, tools, and equipment in knitting. And lastly, you're going to participate actively in class discussion. Now that you already know how to do the two basic knitting stitches, this time I'm going to teach you how to make a simple project with two colors of yarn and how are we going to bind it off once you reach the end of your work. Are you ready? Before we proceed with our lesson, there are a few reminders that you need to follow. First, you have to prepare all your tools and materials like... DIY knitting needles, two colors of yarn, scissors, tapestry needle, and if possible, your crochet hook. Second, make sure that your area is clean, well ventilated, and well lighted for you to be able to comfortable while studying or working. Whether you are a knitting beginner or an experienced knitter, at some point in your knitting journey, you are going to use and join a new skein of yarn while working on your project. This can happen when you come to the end of your first skein of yarn or your project calls for a color change. At sometimes, your project may even require a change of color in the middle of the row. Once you finish using a ball of yarn and you want to join a new one or maybe you want to change the color of your yarn, you will find yourself a loose end. So here are the steps to be followed. First, when you are at the point that you want to change color, take your new color and your yarn tail and tie them together in the loose knot. Close the knot so it sits close to the stitch. Second, take your right needle and insert it in your first stitch. Now, take your new color and start knitting with it. When you have finished your knitting, simply untie the knot and weave in the loose ends. Once the knitted fabric is as long as you want it to be, you will need to bind off its top stitches in order to prevent it from unraveling into an unfortunate file of yarn on the floor. So what is bind off? Bind off means to finish the final row of stitching in your work. Bind off by knitting two stitches, sleeving the first over the second and repeating until only the last stitch is left. Then, cut the yarn and loop it through the final stitch. How about unraveling? Unraveling means untying, separating, or loosening the fibers or threads like the edge of a fabric. Now, once you reach the last row of your knitting project, you're going to follow the steps on binding off. First, set up your bind off by knitting the first two stitches on your knitting needle. Next, insert your left needle into the first stitch that you knit on your right needle. This will be the stitch in the back. 
Now, lift the first stitch over the second stitch and drop it off the needle. You will now have one stitch in your right needle. Now, knit another stitch from your left needle. You will again have two stitches on your right needle. Repeat the process of lifting the back stitch over the front stitch and dropping it off the needle. Then, knit another stitch. Remember, every time you have two stitches on your right needle, you will repeat the process as before. You will repeat these steps until all stitches had been knit and only one stitch remains. Finally, with the last stitch on your needle, cut the yarn. Be sure to leave a 4 inches to 6 inches tail to weave in later. Draw the yarn tail through the last loop and fold it snug. This will keep your project from unraveling. As you bind off, remember to keep your tension relaxed, not too close or not too tight. Now that you have already an idea on how to change the color of your yarn and how are you going to bind off your work, you are now ready to make a simple project like this. Again, this is your learning buddy, Teacher Jean. Thanks for watching.